The eighth house in Vedic astrology is the graveyard. Since the time I have said this, thousands of mails and DMs I have received. How? Oh, why is it the graveyard? Is this only bad or there's nothing good? Well, but today we will discuss 10 indications of massive wealth in a horoscope using the 8th house and the 8th lord because no house is just only good or only bad. So if the horoscope is good, if there are other supportive factors and you have all these or at least 3, 4 or I would say at least 4 or 5 of these and the dasha of the 8th lord or the planet in the 8th comes, then you will be able to get massive wealth and disclaimer all the positions that i say should be taken from the bhava chalit chart all right unless it is aspects aspects are taken from the lagna chart and if you are not aware of bhava chalit chart please watch it uh, in my channel you will find it just type in youtube exotic astrology bhava chalit chart you will find the video so do not take placement of planets in houses from the lagna chart always take it from the bhava chalit chart all right so now what is the first indication? Well, this is this is the best. And if you have this, uh, there's nothing else that you need. So, but there's a condition to this. So, two things have to be together. If one of them is there, it will give you wealth, but uh, not massive. Okay. So, first is in numerology, in your date of birth, if you have the number 7 and 5. So, for example, you are born on uh, 7th of May or 5th of July, something like this. Or suppose you have 7 anywhere. And your basic number is 5, which means you are born on 5th, 14th or 23rd. Or you have 5 somewhere uh, and your destiny number or basic number is 7. So, either way is, if you have 5 and 7 together, so 7 is unearned money in numerology. Uh, it's like the past life good credits coming back to you in this life. So, you might have given some donations and then that comes back to you now in this life. So, if you have 7 and 5 is the classic number of money in numerology. So, if you have this 7 and 5, then uh, it is like the 8th house. And along with this, so this is one combination. And the other, along with this in astrology, in your horoscope, if you have the 8th lord, either in the 10th or 11th, then this is massive. Okay, then you will, and then the 8th lord's dasha comes, you will see unearned money is coming. Somebody will call you, somebody or will give you offers, whatever. You know, that the rest is just a detail. It will happen, all right? Of course, depends on the chart, but in general, it will happen. And massive wealth will come, provided you have not screwed up your horoscope big time, all right? <laughs> Number two, and yes, before I go further, if you are new, then don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up if you enjoy this content. Uh, and for personalized consultations, please go to my website down in the description section. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. Number two, this is the best indication of astrological uh, placement for massive wealth. If the 8th Lord's Nakshatra is either in the 10th or in the 11th. So suppose your 8th Lord is sitting in Pushya Nakshatra. Okay, let's uh, take an example. Your 8th Lord is in Pushya Nakshatra and your Saturn is in the 11th house or it's in the 10th house. Okay, either ways. Okay, so or your 8th Lord is in, you know, Purva Bhadrabhada Nakshatra. And, you know, uh, you know, the Lord of Purva Bhadrabhada is Jupiter. So Jupiter is in the 10th or 11th. For any ascendant, for any Lagna, any moon sign, any sun sign, any any whatsoever chart, okay? Then this is the best of the best of the best. If you have this, nothing else is required, all right? So if you have this, congratulations. And there will be massive wealth during the Dasha or planets in the 8th. So now in this case, you primarily have to take the 8th Lord's Dasha because only that planet is related. But suppose there are other things in your chart like 10th Lord in the 8th or 11th Lord in the 8th and also the 8th Lord is in a powerful dignity, then also this can happen, okay? Now, another another combination is, uh, this is not like a combination of massive wealth, but this can give you great connections in society which can open up your doors for massive wealth. You know, uh, this is the 8th Lord in the ninth house, okay? But it should be well placed, so it should not be debilitated in enemy sign or, you know, afflicted. Which is very difficult because you will you will rarely find a planet which is, you know, in a good sign and not afflicted or not combust or whatever. You know, it's very difficult, okay? So, but if you have this, it means 
uh, by doing spiritual practices, a lot of your negative karma can be uh, cut down by doing spiritual practices. Okay, this is what it means. Okay, not in general, but uh, you can say that. But it will depend on your chart. What is your no, mindset, you know, the more you are in Sattva Guna, the more you can see things as they are. If you are in Rajas and Tamas, uh, this will not work, okay? Now, number four, eighth lord in Lagna, but the Lagdesh should be in one of the two houses, either fifth or eleventh. Now, what does this do? In astrology, the fifth house is twelfth of the sixth. So, it is also a house which shows unearned money. Many people don't know this. Why? Because it is your Purva Pune. It is synonymous with the number 7 in numerology. It's a bit synonymous. And 11th house is synonymous with uh, the number 5 in numerology, right? So, if your 8th lord is in Lagna and your Lagnesh is in the 5th or 11th, you can do excellent in matters of, you know, lottery especially. Or you put money to a stock and it, you know, goes 2-3 times in a month or maybe 100x in, you know, one month or something like that. But, of course, uh, this has to be seen in the purview of the overall chart and good dashas have to come. Otherwise, don't put money and blame me later, okay? I do not take responsibility, but you need to understand everything should be seen in proper context. So, if you have this placement and if you are playing it too much safe in life, then at least, you know, take 1 or 2% of your net worth, you know, take some money. So, if your total sum is like, you know, 10 lakhs, uh, don't don't put everything, but at least you know ten thousand, twenty thousand, thirty thousand. You know you you can uh, put it into you know some risky elements, and you can see uh, how that grows. Okay, but again, this has to be very monitored and consult your uh, financial advisor before doing this. This this simply means you can take more risk, but it does not mean you should exactly do what I said. Okay, this is just an example, and I'm not a financial advisor, uh, nor do I take responsibility for your actions. Okay. Now, number five, well supported eighth lord in Kendra. So your eighth lord is in Lagna, fourth, seventh, or tenth, but it is well supported. Now, what is well supported? Well supported means uh, it is with another exalted planet, or it is uh, aspected by the lords of you know the fifth or ninth, or it is uh, conjunct lords of fifth or ninth. Okay, so if this is there, then it means uh, that somebody or the other will come and help you. Okay, and they will leave. So, therefore, this is a powerful placement if you are looking for help from society and especially if the 10th Lord is associated, uh, you can get a lot of money and not of name fame because, you know, somebody else, you know, unfortunately passes away and, you know, there's nobody else. So, you become the leader now, okay, or you get inheritance or you get a lot of, uh, lot of help in general from people, you know, 4th house mother, 7th house spouse, you know, lagna, your own self, your own personality, 10th house, your own work, okay. Number number uh, six, your eighth house is empty and the eighth lord is well placed. This is a phenomenal placement because you have to remember generally the eighth house is trouble. There's no debate on this unless the eighth lord is very well placed and the eighth lord's nakshatra is super well placed. Eighth house is trouble. Okay, it is unseen circumstances and reversals and depression, anxiety. Addictions and all this. There's, there's not much good about the 8th house. Of course, on the positive side, it shows, you know, research, unearned money and, you know, inheritance and all this. That, that's there. there. There is some good about every house, okay? But the lesser the planets in 8th, the better. And if your 8th house is empty and your 8th lord is well placed. Well placed means either in the Lagna, 10th or 11th, supported by benefits and all this. Then you can get massive wealth because not because you uh, will get some money out of nowhere but your losses will be minimized okay so a person with too many players in the eighth house uh, there could be a lot of losses okay there could be gains or there could be losses also i can give so many examples all right now number seven eighth lord conjunct the tenth lord of d10 in the d10 so in your Dashamsha chart, if your 8th Lord is conjunct the 10th Lord, so 8th Lord of your Dashamsha chart, so forget your D1, just take your D, D10, okay? So in your D10, if the 8th Lord of your D10 is conjunct the 10th Lord, then uh, this is a phenomenal placement because uh, what happens is by this, you get some sudden opportunity which you are not expecting and you have to like, you know, uh, you have to 
come up to that level okay so if you have this then be prepared somebody might call you out of nowhere and give you jobs or you know you might get business deals okay so this is a great placement number 8 eighth lord of your navamsha chart okay not d1 <laughs> navamsha chart is very well placed now well placed means uh, either it's in the 5th 9th 10th or 11th okay so these are the best houses of the horoscope now if this is there then what happens is by default it means uh, you do not have too much uh, sins to pay back in this life okay so this is what it means so if you have this if the eighth lord of your navamsha is very well placed it means uh, even if you have done sins in your previous lifetimes but you have also done some other pariharas or whatever some remedies and you know special things by grace of god because of which your problems are considerably less you know so you end up saving much more money if you compare in a 10 year horizon you will save a lot of money and because of that your end savings is huge okay and if you put it into some uh, places where there is compounding of the money there will be huge money okay but of course the d1 also has to be seen in this and you know in case of the dashamsha chart also don't forget the d1 just don't see the d9 and d10 okay number 9 atma karaka connected to the eighth house okay but with a strong horoscope now if the atma karaka is connected to the eighth house so atma karaka is in eighth or conjunct eighth lord you know or eighth lord is aspecting atma karaka or atma karaka is aspecting the eighth lord or even if atma karaka is aspecting the eighth house but if your overall chart is not good then this is maybe one of the worst placements you know this can uh, this can put you into trouble okay but if this is there and your overall chart is very good it's a very strong chart then it certainly means that you can get freedom from your bad habits you have been trying from many 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 lifetimes and uh, your your energies are supporting that okay so when you have that then you can work diligently with discipline and with hard work with a good vision and then you can uh, get wealth as a by product of that okay so this essentially may not make you very wealthy but it will give you a lot of sense control provided the overall chart is good sun moon lagna lord you no know, the kendra lords trinal lords they are well placed so this has to be very well supported and there should be some other combination you know, like 7 and 5 or 7 or 5 in numerology you know especially 5 then if you have this work diligently work in the background and you will have massive success right now number 10 lagna lord connected to the 8th house but with a strong 10th house now when the lagnesh is connected to the 8th and the 10th house is smashed very badly very badly you know afflicted or like 10th lord is very badly placed then you will have lot of job terminations you will have lot of you know um, uh, bankruptcy in your business or whatever you won't find a job that that's very difficult but if the lagna and the 8th are linked and your 10th house 10th lord is very strong then it will make you a visionary it will make you innovate things and along with that if your 11th house your 5th house 9th house is even stronger and you have um uh, yeah i mean 7 5 all this in numerology you know and your world chart is very strong then uh, it will be fantastic you will do some big innovation okay big innovation doesn't mean like you know some something like you invent uh, you in, you coin a term like gravity or something like you know uh newton but it could mean something uh, localized but it will be very prominent and it will be very sharp and it will be very uh, it will be it will be amazing the quality will be excellent okay so therefore if you have these placements uh, then understand that uh, eighth house is not an easy house things may not come to you very easily even if you have these placements so with the eighth house hard work is non negotiable okay so work hard and by that you may get lottery inheritance or your money might compound you know or whatever you know and destiny decides to give you now uh, what was that uh dene wala jab bhi deta deta chappar phar ke there is one song also i guess you know so anyway so what you need to understand is that eighth house will not give you wealth effortlessly you have to put efforts inherently it is a dusthana house anybody with a eighth house who has had success or massive success you will see that the person has had extreme difficulties and the person has gone to zero also sometimes okay you can take amitabh bachchan ji's example 
he has a very strong eighth house with uh, certain amazing placements but you can see you know he had this life threatening uh, accident and uh, you know his company went to zero bankrupt and then he bounced back again he fell again he came back you know and he's still dragging so if you have a prominent eighth house be prepared to work till your 80s <laughs> into 10 8 10 into 10 is 80 okay or maybe even more than that all right so if you have a strong eighth house you are very fortunate and strong means not you know a exalted priority in it but if you have all these combinations at least three four of them so work hard and success will be yours all right take care don't forget to subscribe if you are new and hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this and for personalized consultations you can visit my website down in the description section god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him jai siaram